In today's video, I'll be discussing the best AI paraphrasing tool on the market. I'll be going over how you can use it to rewrite your ChatGPT prompts for your school assignments that won't get picked up by any AI detectors like Turnitin or GPT-0. All I ask in return is if you guys go and subscribe to the channel if you're into AI technology and also leave a like on this video as it helps out in the algorithm. With that being said, let's get right into this video. So if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen my other video testing out seven different AI paraphrasers and there was one that came out on top compared to the rest of the pack. This program was an outlier on how good it was at rewriting ChatGPT phrases that not a single AI detector was able to pick up that it was actually written by AI and this program is called Netis AI. Fun fact, I actually got recommended to this program by one of my subscribers who's now in my Discord server so if you want to join that Discord server to interact with a bunch of other AI community members the link will be in the description. So Netis this is an AI rephrasing tool and if you don't know what rephrasing is it basically just rewrites the prompts you give it utilizing different words and sentence structure so it can't be picked up for things like plagiarism. Now I will say this is going to be an educational tutorial as I don't condone cheating and school and there definitely is an argument on the negative impact this can cause for schools in the future. However I'm a big supporter of new technology and this is new technology so I have to cover it. With that being said, let's hop on to the computer setup and I'll show you guys how to use Netis AI because there is some settings that may seem confusing to the users at first, but trust me, it's very easy to use. Alrighty, we're back on the PC setup and I'll have the link down below so you guys can go and be directed to Netis AI and you can follow along within this tutorial. Now I did want to preface once again that this video is completely unsponsored in my honest opinion. After I did that review yesterday it's a clear outlier that Netis is by far the best of the bunch. So there's a, actually a ton of different features within Netis AI. So firstly is summarizing. All you do is insert a page of text and Netis AI will automatically summarize that page for you. So we have this short amount of text I just got from some random blog and I'm going to put it in the summarizer on Netis and we are going to see what it summarizes it to. You can set if if you want it to be a small summary or a large summary so we just had it to a small summary and as you can see it is a very small summary just three sentences long and it really summarizes what the paragraphs were about which is the best cameras for YouTube now going over to the paraphraser this is what you're probably going to be using the most if you're using it with chat GPT however before we get into that let's talk about the AI detector this works the same way as GPT zero except it's way better so if you believe text was written by AI all you have to do is insert the text here and then click check and it will tell you if it was written by AI so let's get a prompt from chat GPT alrighty so we have my short text from chat GPT although it might not be enough to detect if it was written by AI but let's test that out and as you guys can see we got an ouch on the scale if it's all red that means it was detected for copious amounts of AI and obviously if it was green it was completely written by human so the AI detector works Works fantastically now let's try out the paraphraser all right so this was the perfect prompt to give chat GPT what I noticed is that chat GPT loves to output stuff into lists which is great for us to read however it's very obvious that it was written by chat GPT so we're gonna ask Netis to rephrase this list so we're gonna submit that list in the paraphraser and we're gonna see what we get and as you guys can see it puts it into a full paragraph which is amazing it removes moves that list like format that chat GPT always comes out with and when we put it into GPT zero it believes it was written entirely by a human and we can even paste it into writer.com and see what score we get and as you guys can see it has a 99% human generated content score which is nearly perfect now last thing you can do is the bypasser tool which works similar to the paraphrasing tool on Netis AI so we're going to submit we're going to use bypasser v9 now depending on how many credits you have you can just play around with the bypasser and see which one works best for you however they are going to create varying text 
In my opinion, I like using the paraphrasing tool a lot more because as you can see, it still put our output in that similar chat GPT format with the list, which isn't really what I wanted. I wanted the paragraph version more, but that's something you can always test out with Netis AI. Now, when we paste this into GPT-0, once again, you get the text is written entirely by a human. And when we put it into writer.com, we get a 100% human generated content score, which is hilarious because it was 0% written by a human. However, I still do like the paraphrasing tool on Netis AI better than the bypasser just because the list, if you use ChatGPT enough, you will notice that the list format is is native to ChatGPT's prompts a lot of the time. And although it might not get picked up on a AI detector like Turnitin, a teacher can manually see that and determine if it was created in AI or not. But that's my review of the best AI paraphraser, rewriter, whatever you wanna call it, on the internet in the current market. I hope to see more platforms like Netis AI begin to evolve. And I know that that website is very, very new so i'm sure we'll see more and more to come if you enjoyed this review make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out and yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day see you later